Hello, I'm Pam Patno, Deputy Secretary of the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. And I'm Helen Albert, HUD's Acting Inspector General. Together, we're working with the Department of Justice and our partners to remind you that sexual harassment in housing is against the law. We're launching a new public service campaign to cast a spotlight on those in authority who victimize their tenants and to let you know where you can turn if it happens to you. Sexual harassment in housing will not be tolerated. If you or anyone you know is a victim of this kind of harassment, HUD is here to help. We now invite you to listen to this very important message. He knew that I needed a place to live, so that's when he started making his move on me. He was like, well, if you don't sleep with me, then the sheriff's will be putting you out on Monday. Before I knew it, I heard his belt buckling, rattling. I look up and he was exposed. I felt like no one would listen to me. He had more power than I did. I was just a tenant. He was a property manager. I would always be on alert, like when he go use his key or come, you know, have you already been in my house or while I was asleep or something? It was like, you either do this or you're on the streets. I felt like I didn't have a choice, and so I did what I had to do. Yeah, I was afraid. People shouldn't be treated like this because they need a place to live. 